Okay. I have a pile of screws just to take one side off. Uh, special tool for getting down inside there. Uh, these are the tools I've been using. Anyway, here's the uh, side of the amplifier. I kind of just some twist ties sort of hung up the pieces here so they so I could power it up and sort of look around. So uh, don't really know what I'm doing, but I did find that uh, the transistors. There's a pair of transistors here on each corner of each one of these. There's like transistors. So they all seem to check out until I get to this guy here, or this pair here, and there seems to be maybe a short in here. Um, just from metering around, I mean, I get consistent readings on, on these three all the way through. This would be like the negative side and the positive side. So I get consistent readings until we get up to this guy here, and there seems to be maybe a short to the plate or something, so maybe these transistors are gone. I'm going to look into it further. I think the next step is uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take the other side off as well. Um, pain in the ass. Takes, it took at least an hour to get the other side off. This side might go a little quicker because now that I've done it. But uh, what I'm going to do is all these holes along here that these guys here would go through and then there'd be a nut on the other side and uh, with a little bit of Loctite holding it in place. Um, so anyway, those were a pain in the ass to get off. So I'm just going to tap these out to probably 7, 30 seconds or I don't know what, some kind of metric size. And then uh, I can use just regular screws to put them in. I may have some problem in the bottom because they're kind of angled holes. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, I might have to drill new holes in the heat sink, or maybe just leave those. Maybe the, maybe the ones on the side and the top will be enough. Um, pain in the ass. So, that's my mission.